It was a whole new day that day when they all went outside and saw that it was a high bass snow day in the neighborhood. How can it be? But it totally was. So they all went outside and messed around in the snow and had a pretty good time complemented by bonfires and the roasting of marshmallows. Everything was it should be. The sun set on the picturesque scene of perfectly straight twigs adorned with marshmallows over a crackling fire in a small blank field somewhere in the middle of the United States of America. Idyllic, our man was one of those people on that fateful day. When he went home to his sterile wife after hours of play and fun he had a whiskey sour so that he could dull the agony of spending extended periods of time with his lady. The dull of senses to retract into the meat of his skull, it's casing so much like a wound to him. He is absorbed into the cream of his consciousness. His inner world so rich and vibrant but his abilities to express the deepness of that world were so hindered by his lack of ability. Our man sat at his table looking out the window, wondering when such a perfect thought breed day would occur again, because it was in his lack of thought that he found the most solace. I am only not alone when I am not alone with my thoughts. He would commonly think. His sterile wife came in and lightly touched his shoulder. Did you have fun? She asked. Her blue eyes flickering dully in the reflection of the light in the mirror-like surface of the window. Yeah, our man said. Good, she said back. I didn't have any fun today. I am sorry, our man said. The lady of the house left the room into another room where her body stayed perfectly still for several moments. Our man wished desperately that the next day would be the same as the day he had just experienced. Why can't every day be like today? He thought, a snow day. Why can't my mind just turn off like on snow days? There was a rare weather phenomenon that occurred so that it never snowed after that day. Our man never got over that day. He faded into obscurity after his death only being remembered as another face in a single photograph, the only known photograph of him being found in a family book, a book never scrutinized or examined, published sometime in the 50s and left on a handful of shelves, existing copies being accidentally destroyed or abandoned or sold off one by one, the barely existent memory of his existence fading even further into obscurity until nothing of him remained, his machinations long forgotten because of his lack of articulation. Within, things went like that and within 20 years of his death no one existed that knew him. 100 years and his name had never even existed in any permanent form. A formless idea somewhere in the tundra of human movement, a shadow of existence, forgotten.